Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. The sacrilege occurred on February 23rd as Catholics were peacefully praying the rosary on the public sidewalk to oppose a transgender drag queen story hour for children held inside the bookstore Indy Reads Books in Indianapolis, Indiana. It wasn't long before pro-homosexual activists showed up with rainbow flags to heckle and blaspheme. Police officers kindly asked them not to interfere, but it didn't work. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Police! 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 Arrest her! Mary, full of grace. Yeah. Suddenly, without any warning, a pro-transgender woman attacked the statue of Our Lady of Fatima and tried to carry it away. When one of the pro-family Catholics intervened, she threw the statue on the ground. The statue was severely damaged, and the crown of the Virgin Mary was also broken by the desecration. Fortunately, the attacker was arrested while she screamed, insisting that she didn't know what a statue was. I have three men around me! Get off of me! You are hurting me! My hands hurt! I don't know what a statue is! I don't know what a statue is! Excuse me! You just hit me! You just hit me! You just hit me! You just need me in the Get off of me! Get off of me! Get off of me! Don't hurt him! Clearly, those who yell tolerance are not willing to tolerate moral values or the innocence of children. They refuse to respect God and His Holy Mother. Why are small children being forced to hear gender-fluid stories? And what goes on at a drag queen story hour? Because he made everybody friends. This footage was taken at a story hour held at Exeter Community Library in Reading, Pennsylvania. A male performer, dressed up as a woman in a blue princess dress, read books that conditioned children to accept the transgender ideology. His falsetto voice and mannerism was disturbing. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. TFP Student Action volunteers joined local pro-family advocates in prayer. They held signs near the entrance of the library, while pro-homosexual activists clapped and cheered each time a child was brought in to be educated in transgenderism. <laughs> Dozens of young children attended. Some were too young to even walk or talk. Adults without children were also present to support the event. Multiple children were dressed in rainbow clothing, and some were ushered in by same-sex couples. This pro-transgender event was one of many sponsored at libraries nationwide. And the burping! <laughs> the goal of the program is clear. As one drag queen said at a city council meeting in Lafayette, Louisiana, this is going to be the grooming of the next generation. And for the children and the people that support it are going to realize that this is going to be the grooming of the next generation. The grooming of the next generation. Little children are being exposed to sin, and adults are forcing their sinful lifestyle on children. In our twisted culture, libraries are now facilitating the corruption of minors. We must defend the children. We must protect their innocence. As our Lord said, but he that shall scandalize one of these little ones that believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone should be hanged about his neck and that he should be drowned in the depths of the sea. Please click below to sign your peaceful protest to the American Library Association. Help us stop the Drag Queen Story Hour program today. Thank you for fighting the good fight. God bless.